Hey guys, welcome back. This is a very important video. It's probably the most important video because this is about protecting your credit. Four ways to protect your credit. Why do we need to protect our credit? Well, I don't know if you remember, but pretty recently, millions and millions of social security numbers were hacked via Equifax. They're supposed to protect our data, but this is a new world we're living in, guys. You have to take matters into your own hands because you can't trust technology. I'm just kidding, I love technology. All right, so here's the first way to protect your credit. Check your credit every year for free. You can do this on annualcreditreport.com. Here's the deal. Legislation was actually implemented to give us the right to make sure that our credit reports are correct. So this is law that we are allowed to check our credit for free once a year. So do it, take advantage of it. Go through all your accounts, make sure they're all correct. If they're not, you fix it. So this is definitely the first main way to protect your credit by making sure that the data is accurate. You don't have any funky accounts out there that you didn't know about, um, things like that. So definitely take advantage of this www.annualcreditreport.com is where you can get this done every year for free. The second way to protect your credit is to utilize freezing your credit and locking your credit if you can while you're not using it. So this is something that you can do through all three bureaus and the three bureaus are Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. So these are the three bureaus that you would wanna contact and have your credit frozen or locked. What this does is it does not allow anybody, when you freeze your credit, it does not allow anybody to open any accounts. They can't even access your credit file to see what your score is. So what you would have to do is uh, you either fill out a form online or you contact them directly and you can actually unfreeze your credit for a specific amount of time if you know that you're going to be going to buy a new car or you need your credit you need your credit available to you for something maybe you're buying a house so you can actually unfreeze or unlock your credit for a specific amount of time and then it'll just go back to being frozen when that time period is up. So this is definitely something that um, it's important to take advantage of, especially since so many social security numbers were compromised in the hack of Equifax. Um, so lock that credit up. So the third way to protect your credit is to find out if you have free credit score monitoring through your rewards credit card. Because some rewards credit cards actually give you access to see what's on your credit, see your score in real time um, for free. It's included with you being a member of their rewards program. So contact whoever your rewards credit card is, see if they offer this. Uh, I know Capital One is a big one that they have something called CreditWise. If you um, have a credit card with them, you may see that actually in your login area. Um, you can contact them about it, but um, other credit card providers actually have a similar thing that they offer. So it just depends on the type of card, depends on who the provider is, but it's worth looking into to see if it's something offered to you that you don't even have to do anything extra for. The fourth way to protect your credit is use real-time credit monitoring services. So there is a free uh, credit monitoring service through Credit Karma. It's actually truly free and apparently there's no credit card needed to, to use it. However, you can also utilize these same types of accounts through the credit bureaus directly. So if you do not feel comfortable using any type of third party for this and you wanna work directly with a bureau, the bureaus do have subscriptions. Some, some are free to a degree, some uh, for a fee where you'll actually get constant updates on anything that's happening with your credit. Experian is one that I know of. They'll email you when your score increases and decreases and they're constantly keeping up with um, what's going on with your credit. Even if it's, you know, something small, they'll email you about it and let you know. So it's real time and um, I've tested the Experian one and it actually does work really well and I've been pretty happy with it. So I like that. Haven't tested Credit Karma, but I've heard good things about Credit Karma. So utilizing some type of monitoring service, whether that's through the Bureau, through Credit Karma, through um, your rewards credit card, um, either way, 
just make sure you're keeping an eye on it. Make sure that you're pulling your credit annually, checking all your accounts, and keeping it on lock. It might not be something that's really at the forefront of your mind. So you might be thinking, ah, you know, if something happens, it happens. That really is the worst thing you can do because you really, this is something that you want to avoid happening before it starts. So again, four ways to protect your credit. One, check your credit every year for free. You are legally allowed to for free, annualcreditreport.com. Two, utilize freezing or locking your credit to keep the bad guys out while you're not needing your credit. If you don't need it, let it, let it be there frozen to the side. You don't have to worry about it. And you have to freeze it with all three bureaus. Number three, Check to see if the rewards credit card you use, if you use one, offers free some type of free credit report or free credit score monitoring. They may, and you may be surprised. Number four, you can always use a third party or directly with the bureau, utilize their credit report monitoring. If you found this helpful, and if you're gonna utilize one of these four methods, like this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.